Hey guys, uh, DJ Nats here. We're at the Here's Judgment Lunch in Toronto. Um, I've been playing some multiplayer and, uh, and watching a beta campaign. Um, I'm pretty impressed with what I've seen from so far in the campaign. The, the Crimson Omen challenges are look really interesting. Messing with the, with the formula, that's, that's kind of what I like at this stage, is just subverting the, the usual formula, but still keeping the, the same mechanics. Gears universe that I like. Really enjoyed it. Had a great time. Can't wait to get up there and play some more. The graphics, again, are just amazing. The gameplay is amazing. There's a couple new things uh, with this gears. Um, you know, the, the loadout's different, things like that. I'm liking the, the, the new weapon swapping. Uh, I, I, when I heard of it, first off, I didn't think I'd like it. But uh, it makes for really easy access to another, to a second weapon while you're in the middle of combat rather than trying to think of which direction you need to press on the D-pad. In the game, I love the breach shot. I think it's a fantastic weapon, great addition. Overrun's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it takes a really strong team to perform well, but uh, I think it has a lot of potential. And uh, all the free for all was a fantastic addition to the game as well. I really enjoyed uh, the just the uh, madness of a free for all game. It's a new experience in the Gears of War universe. Uh, being able to jump off ledges actually surprised me. Uh, I wasn't expecting it the first time, and uh, it kind of changed up uh, how I approached the game from there on. So it was a lot of fun, a lot of uh, a lot of interesting changes to the usual formula, but uh, just kept it interesting. I think I, one of my favorite things is that you can jump uh, from level to level now. It's not invisible walls when you get to a platform that cuts off anymore. So I, I definitely, I'm looking forward to that in multiplayer. Really loving the, the new sniper rifle. That's uh, pretty awesome. And I, where I was criticized for constantly being a ticker when we were the locust side. Honestly, it was the most effective one off the bat. It was quick, it got in past the enemy lines, and it did a lot of damage when it blew up. I'm actually an old school Lancer, because I like the chainsaw. I like that small, intimate, like playing co-op with your friends and just having a laugh. I like more of the social side of it. Multiplayer is a ton of fun, but super aggravating because I get killed all the time. <laughs> I'm just trying out Gears of War Judgment. Um, I had the opportunity, I was one of the few people who had the opportunity to play the uh, single player mode, being able to go back in time, seeing things things right after Emergence Day, which is was pretty cool. Young Barrett, uh, Young Cole, I don't think I actually got to see him yet. But uh, that was a, that was a lot of fun, and I also liked the uh, the redacted um, parts of the game, would allow you to kind of add variance to uh, to the story, um, that actually add um, extra challenge, right, and, and extra replay value to the game. I can't wait for the uh, campaign. Uh, here's campaigns I always have been my thing. Uh, I am more of a co-op guy, so that's uh, that's what I'm interested in. I'll probably uh, do as much of the campaign as possible with uh, three of my buddies by my side. So. Not four though, I can't find them anymore. I want to see if there's another Carmine brother in there and see how he dies. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the campaign, uh, seeing more, more of uh, part of Delta Squad, who is now, now or was previously named Kilo Squad, so playing with them, hearing what they have to say about all the situations, because their quotes are always hilarious. Coltrane once on whole grain, baby! Woo! Do you get to shoot people? Yeah. What more is there to say? <laughs>